as a Python freelancer, you could be charging the normal Python freelancer rate, which for whatever reason is not available online. I had to find out for my mentor. And this was something that helped me, you know, I've told that story where I was on a phone call and I went from literally $50 an hour and I talked with my mentor. He's like, go to 100. He's like, no. He goes, I don't care how little experience you have. You've only been in coding for three months, whatever. He goes, doesn't matter. They're trying to jip you. $50 an hour for a Python freelancer is not right. 150 an hour is what a Python freelancer should be making, if not more. So he goes, I know you have less experience. If you don't feel comfortable with 150, just go with 100. So I didn't feel comfortable at that point to go to 150. I wasn't sure about my skills. I got on this phone call and I said, hey, and it was a scary phone call. I've talked about this. Literally, my hands were shaking. I was like deathly scared. And I went, I'm like, hey, so that $50 an hour rate we agreed on, yeah, that was just like my rate for uh, doing like tutoring or coaching students. But for my Python consulting rate, I'm going to charge $100 an hour. And if that's okay with you, we can move forward. Otherwise, you know, we can't. And then on the other side, he just goes, he goes, okay, we'll see if it's in the budget and hangs up. And keep in mind, I'm a college student with a 2.0 GPA. I don't have a fancy degree. I don't even have my associate degree yet. I'm in my second year at college. Um, and for those of you guys know who don't know what a 2.0 GPA means, it just means you're a terrible student. <laughs> okay, just take it like that. And for me, this is an opportunity of a lifetime, and I'm getting on this call and going from 50 to 100. It's a scary jump. But the next day, I received a message that said, congratulations, and you start this Wednesday. And when I got that message, I just saw it from the notification at the top of my phone. I mean, it was just like I was sweating, you know, for the whole day. And then it just all that tension, all the headache just gone. And then eventually I started realizing it's not really that big a deal to charge $100 an hour, though it was scary for me. Um, and also that shows the power of having mentors because everybody else to me was just saying you're looking a gift horse in the mouth, you're ungrateful, and don't charge that much, just accept what they have offered you already, especially as that student, okay? All right, so now I want to, so now I want to tell you this. $50 an hour is a pretty low rate for a Python freelancer to charge, really low rate. But let's say you start at that rate, cool? You start at the $50 an hour uh, rate. Somebody said, give some other examples, um, other examples of people who charge. So yeah, I'm giving you other examples. So one of my mentors charged $30 an hour. Another one charged $200 an hour as a Python consultant. I had a mentor who charged $300 as a Python consultant. Um, I know of many people who charge 70 or $80 an hour. I know because I've hired software developers and they work for me and I paid them 70 to $80 an hour to work for me on Python projects. So $50 is a pretty low rate. And again, the 70, $80 an hour people, some of them were in the United States and some I hired that were actually in India but it doesn't matter to me and it doesn't matter to a lot of people who are hiring these freelancers. They don't care what country you're in as long as you're good, okay? And as long as you can communicate that to them, all right? And you can get the job done. So anyways, um, low hourly rate is 50. Now let's say you have one client at $50 an hour. Let's say you land, you spend the next few months and you get only one client, okay? You, you try really hard, but you only get one client. For one or two, three months, you try. One client at $50 an hour, and let's say they don't give you 40 hours of work. Let's say they don't give you 30 hours of work. Let's say they don't give you 20 hours of work. Let's say they are only giving you 10 hours of work per week. If you're charging them $50 an hour, that's $500 okay, in one week for 10 hours of work. And that's $2,000 a 
a month. Okay, I'm going to say this again. One client at $50 an hour for 10 hours of work per week gives you $2,000 a month. Write this down. Just like that, you can then do the math to what can happen as you add more clients or as you increase the income or as you increase the hours. The $2,000 a month is $24,000 in one full year. I know that there's some people who are watching this right now that don't make $24,000 in one full year. And you could do this with one client. And you could do this with something that's actually enjoyable and fun. You could be working on a security project. You could be building a social media app for, with them. You could be working with the team who's building a social media app. So it's not even that hard. You just communicate with them and they like you. They just tell you what to do and they train you and you pick up those skills and then you start putting in that work and giving them what they need. Again, it's not easy. It's hard. Okay. But if you follow this path, okay, and you use this, this is possible. All right. It's doable. The reason why I want to say it's not easy is I don't want people to come into this with like no intention of putting in any work. You just want to like be lazy. You want to be doing exactly what you're doing right now. And for some reason, come in here and think you're just going to get massively different results. If you start taking action on this and actually doing these things, you'll get those results fast. But again, this is just one client I'm talking about. All right. $24,000 extra a year could mean you could start up extra business on the side, could mean you could pay off all these annoying things that you don't like, or it could mean you could pay off the mortgage or, you know, get a nice apartment that you don't even have to worry about, it's essentially free.